these are the super cows of Israel and it's clear to see why they've earned that nickname. A cow in Israel produces an average of 12,000 kilograms of milk or at least 32 liters of milk daily making Israel one of the countries with the highest production of milk per cow in the world. So how did Israel, a largely arid country, create a thriving dairy industry? To find out the answer to that question, I visited Afi Milk, one of Israel's largest dairy farms located in the outskirts of the city of Tel Aviv. The farm has 2,000 dairy cows. Afi Milk sales manager Ofe Tamir told me the secret behind its success. We actually have management system. We control, we know exactly what happened with the cow. For that to happen, each cow is tagged with a microchip on one leg to monitor its health, reproductive cycle and general behavior. Each cow has tag on the leg, it gives us indication who is the cow and its activity about how much step, how much time she lay down, how much time she stand. And from this we learn a lot about the activity of the cow, health problem, more activity. If we find that need, cow need treatment, so we have sorting gate. On the sorting gate we have antenna. Each cow that pass recognized. So if I want to treat this cow, I put code in the computer that this cow need to be separate. She will go automatic to the waiting, to the treatment area and all other friends will go back to the shed. The quality of milk produced by each cow is also monitored daily with each cow expected to produce 40 liters of milk. We can uh, analyze how much fat, how much protein, lactose, somatic cell and blood when we milk the cow. Also we measure conductivity in the milk. So each change in the conductivity tells us that the cow has problem, ascites problem. And with this we can act on time, treat the cow and save a lot of money. Then there is the nutrition of the cow. Each of these cows is fed on a diet largely made up of wheat or corn silage of about 40 kilos daily. Each cow is provided with 150 liters of water per day. It costs at least 770 shillings to keep each cow well fed every day. The nutrition is the, the most expensive and expense that we have in the farm. It can be 70% from the income. And when it's time to settle down, each cow is given the ultimate VIP treatment. The cows are kept in air-conditioned sheds, complete with special beddings that are spread and cleaned every morning. So the idea is with this system to act on, the, on time. When I mention that I have some problem with the cow, I treat on time so I don't have loss of milk. According to Offer, the model that Afi Milk uses to keep its dairy business going can be replicated in Kenya if only Kenya can adopt new approaches to dairy farming. The problem is to do the movement for commercial, for modern, to use the technology that can give you a lot of more because most of the cow in Kenya lose money. People even don't know they can produce more. But they stuck. I don't know why. I see a lot of operation from the government, from the dairy board. They always just support the processor, not the farmer. According to the Economic Survey 2015 report, the volume of milk produced in Kenya in 2014 stood at about 541.3 million liters, denoting a 3.5% increase in milk production. But that is still less than half the 1.4 billion liters of milk that Israel produced during the same year. A comparison that is clearly indicative of the vast potential that Kenya can tap from its dairy industry with modern approaches to dairy farming. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm.